One other big advantage of using the automatic captions is that it allows you to refer to this figure or table inside the text and always keep that reference correct. All we need to do is go in the text where you want to refer the reader to that particular figure or table. I'm just going to add it here. And then from the references tab, click on cross reference and the computer can refer to a lot of things, anything automatic that is created. So you just need to look through the list of all the different types and find whatever you need to. In this case, it's a figure. It will list the two figures it knows about. So you can click on the one you want to refer to and then you choose what do you need in the text to appear. Obviously, you don't want the entire caption. So usually it's just label and number that is needed. But if you look further down, you will see an interesting option for a page number. So if your table is few pages earlier, you could use that option as well to point the reader to the page where this figure is. So in our case, just label and number is enough. And that's the cross reference inserted. When you insert the cross reference like that, the computer will make sure that those are always correct. It creates a link between the caption itself and a cross reference to that caption. If your figure or table number changes, it will change within the text as well. Now, all you need to do is find the rest of your figures and tables and create the cross reference to them. And then again, from cross reference, choose which figure or label and number, insert, done. When you're cross-referencing a table, you'll need to look through the list further down and you'll see the table option. So it displays your table captions. Then you can pick the one you need. Again, only label and number is enough. Insert and there it is. And there's my last reference to the second table. And that's all the cross-references done.